Hi everyone, welcome back to Danielle's Day 4. Well, today I wanted to share with you guys, um, last week I went to Nashville. You guys, I had such an amazing time. I got to meet Arlen. And for those of you that have been with my channel for a while, know that I just, I absolutely adore Arlen. She is one of the reasons that I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> you know, she's really encouraged me over the past year to kind of do this and, and keep on with it and she just she is a wonderful and amazing person so I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of that trip um, we left on Monday and I recorded a little bit of a video in the car on our way to Nashville but my little thing that my phone hangs from just vibrates so that video didn't come out right and I was worried that would happen but yeah it was <laughs> vibrating like crazy but we left out Monday morning and Arlene drove in from Virginia and we drove in from Arkansas. I went with my mom. We met up at the Holiday Inn Vanderbilt, downtown Nashville. And we had planned on staying um, Monday night and Tuesday night. And then Wednesday morning we were going to leave and go home. So it was just kind of a quick trip. Dee with the Feathered Cottage with Dee, she came in on Tuesday. Now I had met Dee before. Um, she is actually not that far from me. So I had met with her before in uh, Cape Girardeau a couple months ago. So she wanted to come to Nashville. She's not very far from Nashville. So she come in for the day to do some shopping and kind of get to meet Arlen. So it was nice. Arlen doesn't usually come this way very often. So just kind of to get together and to shop and get to just talk. You know, we spent more time in the hotel room just sitting down chatting and having a great time than we did, you know, out and about and running around. But when we first got to the hotel, me and mom got there first and we went and we checked in and uh, we kind of went, we went out to the valet parking area and we were waiting for Arlen because we knew she was probably about 15 minutes behind us. So we sat out there waiting and of course, <laughs> mom and her camera skills, I went over everything. This is what you have to do. <laughs> Cameraman 101. <laughs> now what? The cameraman does not what? The cameraman does not talk. The cameraman films and does talk. <laughs> you guys, I had so much fun picking on my mom about her camera skills. But when Arlene showed up, of course, you know, there's my mom with the camera <laughs> and recording it. So as you can see, <laughs> Anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oops. Oh my gosh, how are you? There. Oh my gosh. Hi Linda. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh what fell, Danny? Danny? Oh, All her papers. Something? I don't know how to shut She Oh my goodness. I don't know why. She, I guess she was trying to zoom in, but Full on, there's Danielle's butt, which is more than y'all need to see, <laughs> but she zoomed right in on my tickets. So, we went in, um, we checked into our rooms, we got lucky, we ended up on the 14th floor, and we had adjoining rooms. Arlene had just um, the king suite with the sofa, and then we had the double bed in our room, and we had the little door in between our rooms, which was awesome, you know. We kind of just left that door open and ran back and forth and just chit chatted and, and had a good old time. But we had the park view from our um, balcony. They all have balconies. So when you looked out, you could see the Parthenon. So I'll go ahead and I did a little tour of our room. I'll put that in here. I thought I would give you guys kind of a quick little tour of our room. Got our little closet. Got an iron for my mom to use. Oh, because Danielle don't iron. <laughs> Here's some of our clothes. If you come over this way, here's the bathroom. And I've already kind of got a little bit of a mess going. But I thought this was really cute. It's a little like shirt and tie. All the cute little towel things that they've kind of done in here. So we'll go on to this way. And if we peek over here, Arlene has glasses on her swan. <laughs> you 
can hear her. You can hear her over there. She's doing her room tour. <laughs> and I had to bring my snuggle pillow. My need coffee. And the picture's on the wall. And it kind of lights up. So we are at the Vanderbilt Holiday Inn in Nashville, Tennessee. Here's our little swans. Aren't they adorable? I love the little towel things on the bed. So we have a TV right there and a microwave and a refrigerator. So I don't know what's in the drawers. Nothing, I guess. <laughs> We got a few things sitting over. Me and Arlen's been taking pictures. Yo, we are having such a great time. <laughs> I'm trying to talk real low because I don't want to talk over Arlen. <laughs> but anyway, mom's got coffee going. And you can come over here. Oh, it got kind of dark, but there's a little chair there. And y'all, check this out. Let me see if I can open up this door and we'll step on out here. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this view. Oh my goodness, that in the distance, I can zoom in, is the Parthenon. And we are in the Vanderbilt District, so Vanderbilt College is right in this area. And over there is the TriStar Centennial Stadium. And you can see a lot of the stuff that they have going on. It's just beautiful. We're up here on the 14th floor. So look down to the parking lot. Try not to make you guys dizzy. But check this out. I ah, love it. I love being way up here. <laughs> beautiful view. That is Centennial Park over there. And it's gorgeous. So we're going to go down, kind of walk around and see what they got down there. I want to walk over to the Parthenon and check it out but we are having such a good time I am so thankful that we got to do this little trip and look around over there that is our living room and her little balcony <laughs> on that side and when you come back in let's go peek at Arlen she's recording we're gonna take a little sneak peek at her let's see She's a little more detail oriented than I am. <laughs> but we got adjoining rooms. How awesome. So, and mom's hiding in there. See her hand. She's hiding in the bathroom. But we will be back with more fun things. Let me step over this way. Here I am. <laughs> no, I'm kind of in my little tank top and my little tennis shoes today. <laughs> but. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys for right now. I'll be back with more. And it's just kind of a quick tour. Arlen's very detailed in her tours. Me, not so much. I'm like, check it out. <laughs> this is what we got. And blah, blah, blah. And there it is. <laughs> but, and then um, on our balcony, you know, you can see the Parthenon and stuff. And we did get some pictures of all of us together. So let me go ahead and kind of share some of that with you guys now. <laughs> And then, Monday evening, after we got settled into our room, we decided to go down to the hotels. Uh, the Commodore Bar and Grill is the name of the restaurant that was inside the hotel. So we went down there and we decided just to have dinner at the hotel. So we wanted to kind of, you know, stretch our legs. We've been sitting in a car for hours and hours. So we went there and ate, and then after we had dinner, they had really good sandwiches. I mean, these things were like this thick. They were huge. But uh, we ate our sandwiches and then we decided that we were gonna hop in the car and we were gonna take a little spin around town and check things out. So we went across the street to the Parthenon, which that was one of the reasons why I chose that hotel is because I wanted to see the Parthenon. Never seen it before, thought it'd be something kind of cool. It was within walking distance. They had a beautiful park that it was in. So we ended up driving over there, but we got to walk around it and we got to see the park and stuff. It's very beautiful. When you go up inside um, the ceilings, 
that they had is just gorgeous. So. I'll show you guys some pictures of that. It's beautiful, beautiful. We took pictures outside there and kind of goofed off and just had had fun. Really, we were just more laughing and cutting up than anything. And then after the Parthenon, we decided that we would hit a Michaels. Um, I don't have a Michaels around me. Poor Elaine, she's <laughs> stuck shopping the same stores that she has at home, but a lot of these stores I don't have. So I knew I wanted to go to a Michael's and I wanted to go. I knew there was going to be an at home the next day. So I knew I wanted to go there. Uh, but we went over to Michael's and was just kind of checking out some of their things. And me and her, we have such similar tastes when it comes to our decor. It's so funny trying to, you know, shopping together because we are both attracted to the same things. We seem, ooh, ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that. You know, so... We ended up with a lot of the same things, but honestly, I think we'll use them in very different ways, you know, but one of the things that we ended up getting, which she got some and I got some too, were these little finials, and I just thought they were beautiful. They were 50% off, and I have three of them. Let me see if I can grab all of them. There's a large, a medium, and a small like that. Uh, the medium was $18, and that was 50% off. The little one was $14 and 50% off, and the big one was $20 and 50% off. So I just love kind of the distressed look with the kind of French country that I'm going with for my, patri for my patriotic. I thought those were perfect, but I just thought those were beautiful. And then um, I ended up getting this little thing. I seen this little sign. And I thought, how cute would this be on a tray with my little uh, milkshakes that I had made? I still hadn't got to use those yet. <laughs> I've been waiting. I was trying to find a little tray for them to go in and something to do. So I just thought this was adorable. And this was $20 and 50% off. So it was $10. But I just really like... I wanted more of like the, um, the old ice cream shop look that retro feel that to me that's what I had in mind when I made those milkshakes was something kind of like this and then maybe in kind of a 50s or a 60s style little tray something like that but so that's all that we ended up doing Monday night uh, like I said it was kind of late when everybody got there anyway so we left uh, we went back to the hotel we kind of hung out there. We went to bed early, got up Tuesday morning, got up super early. Uh, we went down and had breakfast. They had a hotel, or the restaurant in the hotel offered breakfast as well, which was actually pretty good. And they included um, our breakfast. We had free breakfast in with our hotel service, so that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, when we were looking out of the balcony, now see, when we had planned to do this trip, when I had planned initially to go to Nashville, I did not know that this week was gonna be the CMT Awards and they were gonna be having the CMA Fest. So if you don't know what that is, um, the Country Music Television, they have their awards. It was June the 5th is the day that they had it, which was Wednesday. We were there Monday, Tuesday, and we were leaving Wednesday. They had concerts going all week they had all these different things going for the CMA Fest, which was the big festival that they had for the Country Music Awards. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> we were hoping to run into celebrities, you know, about town, but we didn't. <laughs> um, when we had got up Tuesday morning, we looked out of the balcony, and then they had the official CMT Music Award trucks sitting down there, the new uh, Dodge Rams, which were cool looking. They had them kind of wrapped with their little 
uh, patterns or whatever. So when we went downstairs, we snuck out there and was taking pictures and stuff. So I'll put some of those pictures in there so you can kind of check them out. They're really neat to see. <laughs> Dee showed up probably about nine o'clock, I think, on uh, Tuesday morning. So we met up with Dee and I have footage of our Lynn and Dee meeting, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that out of here. I'll let you guys watch it on their channel. It was very sweet. So I recorded it. <laughs> and apparently I'm not a great cameraman either. <laughs> but so be sure to check out their channels because they'll be sharing, you know, what they did in their footage that they had. Uh so after that, we decided that we were going to take off to Franklin, Tennessee, which is about 20 minutes from Nashville because they had a Trees and Trends there. And I really wanted to take our Lynn to Trees and Trends and let her kind of look around. And and Theirs was okay. They didn't have as much as like the one in Cape Girardeau and they just, you know, it, was, it wasn't it was bad. They had some cute things in there, but it wasn't like some of the other ones. So I was, I was kind of disappointed. They didn't have a lot of ribbons and things like that. But, uh, so we went over there and I decided that I was gonna make a wreath. <laughs> Now we'll see how well this wreath comes out and I'm, I might not even do it. I might get aggravated and not do it. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not making no promises, but I bought stuff to do a wreath. <laughs> We're going to give it a try. <laughs> but I decided that I wanted to make, I've seen these, let's get it out here, like this. How cute. Look. It's a little watermelon pick, and I thought for summer this would be super cute on a wreath. I have a grapevine wreath that I'm going to be using, so I'm going to put this on there, and then I have some flowers and things like that. So I'm going to be doing kind of a little watermelon wreath. Uh, I'm going to get the rest of these flowers out. I have two like this with the little flowers that I'm going to use, and then I have one like this this and I have some greenery that I'm just going to use to kind of fill in and here and there like that and I did buy some more um, stuff I went the other day to a place here in town and got some things to go on it but I have the little red polka dotted ribbon and then I have the little green and white striped so and then I went yesterday and I bought some uh, little ribbon with watermelon so you'll see that as I get ready to do it but I just this right here to me reminds me of like a watermelon rind so I'm kind of catching a glare but and then the red so I think that's gonna be super cute we're gonna give that a try <laughs> hopefully that comes out the way that I see it in my head <laughs> uh, Anyway, after we went to Trees and Trends, we kind of spent a little bit of time in there. We headed over to At Home. They had an At Home store in the same plaza, which I was tickled to death because I don't have one. <laughs> I think the closest one that I have is probably uh, Memphis, which is two hours away. So, But they had a bunch of stuff on clearance when we were over there. And of course, you know, I'd, I'm on a finial kick. I found those ones like this at Michael's the night before. Well, when we got over there, I found these like that, and they were, these were on clearance too. Um, this was $17.99, and I think it was half off. So that one was probably $9. And then I found this bigger one, and this one was $14.99, and this one was half off too, so. I don't know why, that's kind of weird that this one was bigger than this one, but that's how it was. <laughs> Her was more, this one was more expensive than this one, being smaller. I don't know why, but, so I just thought those were really pretty. But what I'm wanting to do is kind of use them here and there, scattered throughout the living room. You know, they're not all going to be in one area, but I am going to group a couple here and there. And then... I got two of these little candlesticks like this 
and Arlen did tell me. <laughs> I just bought those candlesticks because I seen them and I was like, oh, I really like those. She said, I just bought those before I left. I said, well, it figures, but that's okay. I'm going to get them anyway. <laughs> so, like, we have very, very similar tastes in the things that we buy, and I just, it's it's awesome. You know, it's it's nice to shop with somebody who kind of gets gets you, I guess. <laughs> but this one right here was $9.99, and it had a clearance sticker on it. I don't know if it was supposed to be on clearance or not, but... And then this one right here was $12.99. And I think this one was regular price, to be honest. But So I got those two. And then I found some little candles to go in them. And it's this is Coastal Breeze Scented Candle. These were $7.99 and half off. So they're kind of the blue the cream and the brown and I got two like that and they have the little seashells which I won't keep any of that on I'll take all this stuff off and I'll probably unwrap them and just leave them like that but they do smell they smell pretty good they smell kind of like soap you know so they got kind of a clean soap hand soap smell to them is what they remind me of but I really like the blue and they had some that was like a navy. It was a real dark, kind of this color blue that we were looking for. And I could only find one. <laughs> we went through, there was four of us searching, <laughs> trying to find the other candle. But they only had the one, so. And then, while I was over there, oh, I found this. This was $20, which was kind of pricey for a little metal thing. It's blue on the edge. But it's just a little metal kind of tray like that. But I wanted to take this and put my little um, milkshakes on here. And then my little Sunday bar sign like that. So that was kind of my thinking for this. And I actually have a little something that I'm going to lay in here. But then I'm going to have my little milkshakes. Yeah, it might not be a Sunday, but it's close enough. <laughs> So that's my that's my plan for that. And then uh, after we left at home, we went over to Cracker Barrel and we just sat down and had a nice lunch. And truthfully, when we were at Trees and Trends, we took a bunch of pictures. So which you guys have seen all those. Uh, when we got to Cracker Barrel, we just kind of sat and talked, you know. And one of the things that really kind of struck me with Arlen that I just thought was awesome. Anytime that we went anywhere, you know, whether it was our waitress or whether it was something, someone in the elevator, she was always like, hi, what's your name? You know, how are you? How are you doing today? She's very, very friendly. Arlen will talk to anybody, and I just think that's awesome. That just shows her personality. You know, she's a very open and talkative person and very sweet and polite you know I was just I was very and I wasn't expecting her to be any less I mean don't get me wrong but you know just the I was raised in Michigan you don't talk to strangers I'm very polite to people and I will always be nice and you know I'm not rude by no means but you don't just walk up to people and start a conversation that's just not you know and plus I'm a little shy you don't get me out in public <laughs> But, so I just, I thought that was really neat with her personality. I just, I, I adore her. I really do. But, uh, after we ate lunch, we all went back to the hotel and, uh, we just kind of hung out there and laid around. Dee went ahead and went back home. We were getting ready to go to the Opry that night and, uh, we were kind of tired. <laughs> so we just kind of flopped on the bed and we talked and we watched videos of Liz and her thing. Mom was watching videos, so we all just kind of flopped around the bed. And uh, so we got ready to leave for the Opry and we were kind of running late. We really only had a little over 30 minutes to get over there. And it was our own fault. We kind of dawdled at the hotel. <laughs> but we get on the expressway to start heading over to the Opry and it is bumper to bumper traffic there was a bad accident on the expressway um the they shut it down you know so truthfully 
prayers for whoever was in that accident. You know, it it can be aggravating when things don't work out your way, but you know, there there is far worse places that you could be in life than, you know, sitting in a traffic jam late for the opera. It wasn't a big deal. So we just kind of enjoyed ourselves and laughed and giggled and, you know, waiting for, and we said prayers. I mean, that was one of the kind of the first thing that we thought of was whoever was in that accident because they did have the first responders and, and things like that kind of coming in and the police and trying to get the road open back up. But so we got back on the way <laughs> and we get over by the Opry. Now, none of us have ever been there before. We are lost. It is confusing. There is roads and signs and things all over. We don't know where we're going. We finally find somebody and we're like, where are we supposed to be? This is where we're supposed to park at. How do we get to this area over here? So he's like, oh, you go down this way and turn. So we get going. By then, it's already after 7 o'clock. We're late, you know. But we're the, we're almost there. <laughs> we get geese. Geese in front of us. Of all things, we're like, <laughs> we're trying to zip through this little area, trying to get back to our parking lot. And I'm like, oh, look at the geese. And there's like a whole little group of them out here off to the side. And here they come. As soon as we pulled up, stop. There was a stop sign. Here they come out to the road. So <laughs> we're trying to get around the geese. There's a car coming this way. Mom's like, hang out the window, Danielle, and shoosh him away. <laughs> yeah, here's the video of that. <laughs> we were stuck in traffic. We're late for the Opry at 717. And now we have the keys. What the heck? <laughs> and there's little baby ones too. Oh, you can see their fuzzy oh, little no. feathers. Okay. Can we go around them? Can you go around um, them? No, 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 don't come this way. <laughs> shush, shush, that way. Go, go, go. <laughs> but you know, really being able to just kind of laugh it off and enjoy it. I didn't, there's no sense in, in being upset and having a bad attitude. You can't change it. You know, them geese were going to get out in front of us whether we wanted them to or not. And it was just, it, to me, it was funny. But, so we get there. We did miss Travis Tritt, which I would have really liked to have seen him. He is one of my favorites. But we did get there in time to see some of the other performers. We got to see Josh Turner. They had a few of the newer um, singers that I really didn't know. Uh, Darius Rucker was there, and he was kind of like a little surprise performance, which was awesome getting to see him. And Carrie Underwood, it was nice to watch her. And Chris Jensen, or Jensen, Chris Jensen, he was probably one of the best performers of the evening. He was just upbeat. He was full of life and presence. And he really, you know, brought down the house with his show. He really did. So if you get a chance, Chris Jensen, he is an amazing performer. And going, you know, with all these veteran performers that have been around for years and years, he really, he knocked that one out of the park. I will give him credit for that. But... So, <laughs> once we finished with the Opry, we decided that we were going to head back to the hotel and get us a bite to eat along the way. So, we drove all the way back by the hotel, trying to find like a McDonald's. We just wanted a quick little burger, and then we were going to head back to the hotel because it was late. Well, <laughs> leave it to Danielle. I Google mapped the McDonald's because I was starving, and... So we were going to go by the Opry and then we're like, no, we'll have to get back closer to the hotel. We'll find one over there. Well, we get back by the hotel and we find one. We have to drive three miles down this way and we get our food. We sit down, we eat, we get back in the car, we get down to the hotel and we get ready to turn into the hotel parking lot. Now from our balcony, <laughs> looking out, you can see the Parthenon right there in front of us. I mean, it's right there. 
right up on the, on the road in front of the Parthenon, directly across from the hotel, was a McDonald's. How, for two days, <laughs> we were there, I did not see the McDonald's that was directly in front of us. <laughs> None of us did. We knew there was a Wendy's that was kind of two doors down this way, and a Piggly Wiggly over here, and a Rite Aid over here. But I don't know how we missed the McDonald's that was directly in front of us. I thought, man, we are all blind. <laughs> But we got, we got tickled over that one. And then uh, on Wednesday morning, we, we actually, once we got back to the hotel, we stayed up a little bit late. Me and Arlen kind of sat down with our laptops and was talking and, you know, just kind of showing each other different little things that we do. And then uh, Wednesday morning, we got up and we all went down and had a nice breakfast. And we got ready to go. We loaded up all of our stuff. and totaled it all out. We had so much stuff just for, <laughs> we had only really planned on being there for what, Tuesday and Wednesday. And when we got there, we had all kinds of stuff. Uh, we had my big suitcase. Our Lynn brought her big suitcase. My mom's the only one that didn't really bring a whole lot. But then by the time we got done shopping and bought everything, we ended up with all kinds of stuff we had to tote back down to the car so uh but yeah it was it was nice and we you know kind of stood out in the parking lot and we talked for a little bit and we said our goodbyes and um it was it was a really good time it really was and I'm so thankful that I got to go and I'm so thankful for Arlen you know coming all this way and for Dee coming down and all of us getting together you know we really we had a good time and honestly I would do it again in a heartbeat Arlen was just a wonderful wonderful woman so we did that and then we got on the road and headed home and made it in oh my goodness <laughs> i had to drive all the way back to arkansas and then once we got home i had to turn around and drive another hour up to my mom to take her home and then come back home you talk about being tired and i didn't sleep well it's wednesday night or tuesday night so i was coming home on three hours of sleep i was one exhausted girl i come home i hit the couch and did not move <laughs> until the next day so i didn't even make it to my bed i hit the couch and i was out <laughs> but yeah we had a we had an amazing time so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed all the pictures and things like that of our our little trip uh, well guys i just kind of wanted to insert this little bit of footage right here. You're eating my thumb. This right here is Shep. And after a lot of debate back and forth as to what to name him, <laughs> we decided on Shep. Short for Shepherd, because he's a little German Shepherd mix. Puppy, he is Lab and German Shepherd. So he is about five weeks old right now so he's still very little a little tiny baby he is not going to be this little much longer <laughs> for you know it he will be growing and turning into a big puppy <laughs> but i did want to share we finally got another dog i snuck off the other day <laughs> when no one was around and i went and picked him up he is just kind of a little mutt breed they were giving him away for free but I thought he was beautiful. So he is the new addition, the newest addition to our family, little Shep. But look how small he is. You can just hold him in your hands. <laughs> and he is soft. He is so soft. And he is a little whiner and he cries. And he grunts and growls and does his little <laughs> But I think he is gonna be a really good dog. He comes when you call him. He kind of follows you around. What, baby? So, he, you take him outside. He uses the bathroom. As soon as you set him in the grass, you bring him back in. And he, you know, it goes in his kennel. He lays down in there. He, It's a really good dog already. For as little as he is, he is very smart. So, I just wanted to share him with you. We got another puppy. <laughs> 
that is all I have for you guys. And I'll be back hopefully soon with a, another little decor video. I'm gonna get to work on this wreath. Fingers crossed, wish me luck that it turns out right. I haven't done a wreath in a while because they, they frustrate me. <laughs> but that is all I have for you guys today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye. And thanks for coming to Nashville, Arlen. <laughs>